I think that's true. There's no maximum number. I think that's the power of the social network, um, and that's the power of the reach. Um, to me, it's about kind of the social infrastructure that's being created, and I think a reflection of Basil, the infrastructure he's creating up in Syria and throughout the globe as part of the CC community. Um, so I think for me, it's about kind of the peer network, and it's the peer reach, and it's the story of the words. I, I worry about like uh, being in this space in which like a, a huge part of how we think about communicating would be dictated by uh, something like whether some kind of maximum number of tweets is mm -hmm. set by a uh, company that has its own ROI to meet and its own advertising to sell of using these tools in a way that is useful to your mission um, and not just using them because they are the thing to use. I was saying that people are getting caught up in the tool as opposed to really thinking about how it thoughtfully helps them to their end. Yeah, yeah, or even like, you know, the ideas of what it means to communicate being like uh, dictated by the for-profit sector in a way that makes me a little uncomfortable. But I do think that um, thinking of it as um, it's very easy to think of it in a very like polarized way, nonprofit, for-profit advertising, you know, at donors, um, mm -hmm. and and that we risk the danger of uh, not thinking of ourselves as one group of people in the world when we do it that way. But that's I tend towards that thinking as well because of you know, my background and where I used to work and where I work now. And, yeah, yeah. And it's um, I can I can see how that can get very politicized in, in a direction that's that's um, dangerous and not good. So um, tending to I, I prefer to think a little bit more about everything as unified instead of that dichotomy. That's well said. That's well said.